back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னும் நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் தி டுடேஸ் டெய்லி சேனல் அண்ட் டுடேஸ் டேட் இஸ் பிப்ரவரி டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் ஸோ கோயிங் வெரி ஃபாஸ்ட் ஐ திங்க் so if you are people trying something so do it consistently so that you can attain your success at a certain point so okay now let's get started so the question is a uh, bomb blast no water okay so what they have given is we must a uh, matrix of r cross c which contains the positive integer value is passed as the input okay then an integer value which is a multiple of 5 is a bomb okay and will destroy all four adjacent in the following order that is left right top and the bottom but if the adjacent cell is water then the bomb will stop destroying the adjacent cells if a cell is destroyed then the value of cell becomes zero after the bomb is blasted then the cell value becomes zero if the cell value is both a multiple of 5 and 3 then consider that as water finally we must print the values in the matrix as the output okay so i think you might understand uh, by reading the question itself i think so i'm going to just try it now using the python language okay so initially what i'm going to do is uh, create a fu- function so def blast so the value is the x y and the row column and the matrix so okay this is my input which i'm going to use it here and if 0 less than or equal to x which is less than r and 0 less than or equal to y which is less than c there is a column and if matrix of x cross y okay if matrix x cross y so where we use the capital one so modulo 3 is equals 0 then we must start explosion if water so for that i am just returning here the false here okay and now we must destroy the cells here so that matrix of x cross y will be equal to now 0 and coming out of this we are just returning the false so before this we must return here true okay and now creating another function def bomb blast okay the values are the matrix row and the column and here for row in range of r minus 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 that is start from the last row and we should move up so using this and now in next line we must start from the last column and move left so for that for column in range of c minus 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 okay and now if matrix of row cross column uh modulo 5 equals 0 and matrix of row cross column modulo 3 equals uh here it will use not equal to 0 since i it's a bomb so we must use like this and now the matrix of row cross column is equals 0 that is the bomb explodes now so let me save the code once and now for x comma y in 0 comma minus 1 comma that is the left and this is the right and for the up minus 1 comma 0 and for the bottom 1 comma 0 okay so using this and uh, now if not <coughs> blast row plus x comma column plus y comma r comma c comma the matrix 
and using here a break statement okay so now get the input from the user int comma input dot split and the matrix is equal to get in the list list of map of int comma input dot split and for underscore in range of r so this is the one to get the matrix and now we must process the blom blast so calling the function here so matrix comma r comma c and we must print the final matrix so print row okay so now let us run our code and check for the output and you're getting an error here so okay hmm yeah this value gets error i think so let me check with it so one more wait a sec so i'm going to just change some lines in my code so taking off this one okay until the directions have been mentioned after that i'm going to create another thing that is new x comma new y is equal to row plus x comma column plus y okay and now if zero is less than or equal to the uh the new x which is less than the r and zero less than or equal to new y which is less than the c okay and if matrix of new x cross new y modulo 3 is not equals to 0 then the matrix of new x cross new y will be equal to 0 okay and this everything remains the same so now let us run our code once again and I'm still getting the error so now we are getting another error you can see here so wait a minute mm. Mm, okay, return to yeah. Mm. Hope this is correct, but still getting the error. Mm. This condition just to check you only destroy if not water, so just uh, keeping like that, okay. Everything is correct, I think. And I'm going to try in another method. So till this is correct, and zero is okay. So just I'm going to give a condition here. So else we must break through it. So okay. So just check with this code and yeah you can see that i have added just the break statement which is used for the stop blasting further if water is encountered or what is available in the field or not so that's the one so just keep trying to get till your success so thank you for watching this and please do like share subscribe for daily videos 
okay we'll see in the next video thank you for watching this one